You gotta be careful when leaving the country, you know. Even at night time, you gotta escape. So you had to do this at night? Yes, not in the daylight. Not in the daylight? No. So w why? W what would happen? In special, like in uh, like a mountain, the like borders, uh, there is some official waiting for you. Tenzin Choden retelling his journey to America. He left Tibet in 2004 in search for a better life. He didn't get on a plane because leaving Tibet is not an option. He escaped through the Himalayas. All he had was the clothes on his back. It took him about three weeks to get to Nepal. Life is hard in journey, especially you know in mountain, cold days. You know, no blanket. Even you don't have a you know a warm coat, so you just sneak in the night time and cross the mountain. Daylight you cannot go walk on the mountain. It might be a big problem for us. So you actually hide out yes, until the night time. Yeah, yeah. Do you have food, something to drink? Uh, no. The 39-year-old, who now owns a restaurant in Jackson Heights, Queens, decided to risk it all because of the political situation back at home. The Chinese invaded Tibet in 1950, and since then, the life and culture of the Tibetan people has changed. Small school in Tibet, like small villages, uh, most of run by the Chinese, I guess, because they, they try to, you know, promote their language. People can't practice religion, Tenzin says, claiming no one is allowed to have a photo of the Dalai Lama at home. Cell phones and cameras are banned. They are told what they're allowed to watch on TV, and he says there are no jobs. If you do something like a political or something, so your life is in trouble. You gotta tell somebody something to your friend, you gotta walk like 10, 20 miles. There's no communication. Or you can ride the horse, going to see your friend like uh, 20 miles. He did not cross the Himalayas alone. He did it with a group of about 15 people. They had a guide with them at all times who helped them evade Chinese police. Inside Tibet is, uh, you know, a little bit scary. Once in Nepal, he came to the U.S. as a refugee. What made you decide to come here to the U.S.? Well, everyone would like to come to America. Why? Like a more opportunity. You know, more job, more money. And freedom, he says. This country is amazing, a lot of opportunities. Is it better than in Tibet? Absolutely, yeah. How so? Uh, in, in, anything, you know, in terms of, you know, uh, whatever you like to feel like that you can do it here, right? Mm -hmm. In Tibet, you know, people are, you know, have facing a lot of problems nowadays. When he arrived in New York, a friend took him in. A few weeks later, he started working as a delivery man for a French company in Chelsea. He had many different jobs throughout the years. Six months ago, he took over Lungta, serving Tibetan cuisine, exposing his culture. Since I came here, I see different kind of culture, languages, you know. Yeah, it's very amazing here. In Jackson Heights, I'm Jessica Formoso, Fox 5 News. And I want to take, uh, thank Tenzin for allowing us to tell his story. He was yeah, incredible. Yeah. Um, you know, his mom, his dad, his brothers are still in Tibet. And like he said, he always wanted to work, but in Tibet there are no jobs, and that is why he decided to come here to live the American dream. Now, this is the first story of our series, Coming to America, The Immigrant Experience. We will bring you more incredible stories of people who live right here in our backyard. Very uplifting. We it love really it. All right. Is. Good work.